Hello, I'm Arabella and I want to show you my two finished books. This is for, for no one. <laughs> I made this for myself, I think. And this is for my mom. It's a very special book. I will go through them and show you all the pages. So I won't make it a very long video. Uh, this is my own design. I also make books uh, with other people uh, designs. So, but, but this uh, one I made myself. And it's called Vintage Geisha Notebook. I will flip through the pages and tell you a little bit about it. Uh, so, well, I mud parched this part and it's tissue paper and this I designed. Paper wa was lined and already um, brown color and I just put a picture, digital picture in, in it. So this I got from a magazine and I just cut it out and this is fabric and this one is the designed one on um, it, it's digital and then I made a banner and here I had an envelope but I, I'm not sure to attach it so it's not fully ready yet but I want to uh, well look at pages again and then make some differences so make something different I mean <laughs> I'm not really sure how to say some of the words because I'm Dutch but I will try and do my best uh, this is from Genevieve's design I use it uh, in this uh, book also and I made a little booklet but you can pull it out it's like an accordion like book so with a little card in it and then over here it's the same thing so I'm gonna put it all together like this and then this is just cardstock and you can put a picture or something and here I really like this one because it's so vintage <laughs> already I'm 47 so for me it's not that vintage <laughs> And uh, I repeated the same pictures throughout the book. It is a pamphlet stitch, by the way. I will show, the, show the, you the back side. It has the long stitch and uh, one elastic band. And I used this cloth as a closure, so I really liked it. And uh, this is just, uh, I. I found this in a magazine and attached this to it and with a bread, just with a bread. So I made it, it on the other side with my own drawing which I made once upon a time. <laughs> and now I used it because this has speckles on, on the back side, it has uh, the same pattern ish so I wanted to use that and I have some white pages so it's not finished as I, as I said earlier so I used also the tea for tabs tea bag thingies <laughs> I'm sorry I don't know all the words yet but I will try and do my best so this uh, envelope um, I just bought in a store and has a window and I just put a flower behind it from a magazine. Here I used an old, old book page so you can put something in it. Over here I make sure you can put something in it and these are Dutch words. So over here it's uh, English one way or American I don't know. <laughs> It's a sign and here I repeated the same pictures because I really liked it and here I put a little note it's just 
I like it and a banner and again uh, here here is the Dutch word aantekeningen it's notes the same word and I put a little note over there and here again the same this is from Genevieve designs it's from the top note I really liked her design so that's why I started to make my own books when when I started to make my own books, I really discovered her on Etsy and on YouTube. So I really wanted to try to do, uh, to make books with her designs. And then I, I thought to myself, I can do that. So I started to design my own books as well. So she is a really big uh, inspiration for me. and. Uh, well, here's another uh, envelope. And the B side, <laughs> I really like that. It's uh, also the old pictures, but I left some of the pages on the end of the book go really uh, white. And this is just a scrapbook paper I found in a shop here in Holland, in the Netherlands. So. This is a really nice picture too. It's from an old um, uh, tin, I don't know, tin thingy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know the words. Uh, but I will learn. Here, this one, this page I really like because this is my design also. I'm, I make monoprints. And here I glued uh, one of the um, butterflies onto it. So I really, really like this design. And I made it smaller so it could fit into this page. But uh, well, I have it in the big size too. And I made another design where the, these are the book covers of my, uh, well, vintage uh, notebook. Or booklets or something and these are all pages from my magazine I really liked it's not finished yet so I have to finish it but this is uh, where the elastic band comes in handy so I just put these extra pages into it so and then the last pages are just lined paper with no picture and and uh, blank paper and here with a rose i really liked it and this is my own design too i will show you it's, i really enjoyed making this it's a mana print also so i really liked it it's because it looks like uh well, when you look in the distance or something, it's got depth, so I really like it. And so I put it on the end. I re I w uh, f at first I want to make a different book out, out of this, but um, A5 size, but then I thought, no, it fits really good in the back of this book. So this is my first, uh, uh, it was really a mock-up. So it's my vintage Geisha notebook. This is my own design and with a little bit of the notebook, uh, top note, uh, excuse me, from Genevieve Designs. And this is the top note. So this is for my mother. I made it especially for her. And I will put up uh, this video when I already gave it to her so uh, this is the front side I also used Artie Mays uh, she's she's an English uh, Etsy store woman and <laughs> person I really like her designs really old vintage -y. that's my style too and this is from this the this shape is from the top note from the Genevieve designs and I chose the music notes as the background and uh, printed it onto a cardstock. It was um, uh, recycled uh, cardstock that's really important to me. Uh, this I tea dyed and then uh, it turned out 
a little bit rosy and I didn't know that uh, that was even possible but um, well what I can tell you uh, this is cardstock and this is from a magazine also and this is I'm mad at this so it's not all done yet not I will flip the pages and, and look if I can do something additional to it so I see this is not attached so I have to sew it in I think but let's oh uh, and uh, the butterfly you can uh, my mother can detach it so it, it's not um, well I didn't glue it down or something so and this with with uh, the twine um, I really got it uh, got that idea from Genevieve also so well let's get started uh, this is the inside I made this shape on the inside too and uh, make it really look vintagey and old and this is wood this is the first first small page and I really liked the shape so much that I chose the um, top note. She also has the everlasting but um, when I bought this I didn't see the everlasting so maybe I... And here I cut off the uh, this the, the point so because it was sticking out and uh, was getting stuck on this uh, edge and then I just cut them out and and made it look vintagey again <laughs> so this is the first second page and I made this mark also uh, with this just close it and all around it and yeah I really like this idea so that you can see it like uh, that the music notes this is uh, uh, plain paper and here I made a tuck spot so this is one of the pages I just cut uh, uh, the end of and then uh, made something behind it and made a flap and then put this over it and I really like like this shape so much. <laughs> well, uh, little pages. I made little pages. I didn't make flat pages or anything elaborate like that. It's just uh, uh, they're all normal pages because my mother is not a scrapbooker, so I left it as plain as possible. And here I did the same. Uh, made it vintagey <laughs> with ink. I. Uh, it all around so here's this is from Artie Mays and this is from the internet I just got old paper and and two tags I made uh, she can write something on the back so I really like that look and here I've got a tuck spot oh, and I didn't do anything with this that's why I said I don't know if I'm ready yet because I want to do some things to make things even more pretty, <laughs> something like that. So, well, I got this from the internet and I uh, did like the look. Uh, my mom can uh, put pictures here. And this is from the top note as well. I stacked them up like that. Two little booklets she can do what she wants with it so uh, I just wanted to make it a little more interesting I made this a uh, uh, flat she can do like that so I really like it so this behind it and the idea is because I made this uh, I printed out like that and then I wanted to sort of mad at I think um, I really like uh, the line so uh, this is from my own design uh, from a monoprint and then I uh, made it a digital one um, and 
printed it out onto tea dyed paper and this is the tea dyed paper I really like the way it uh, came out so um, this is also from the internet uh, it's a really wallpaperish uh, old um, style uh, paper which I really like so here's uh, throughout uh, this book I used uh, pages from the internet and just printed them out onto uh, art uh, paper which you can draw on too so I wanted to have a little bit of uh, more um, good paper not just plain paper so this I also printed out and here I made a little tuck spot from the cutoffs. I really like it the way it turned out and this is a little note my mom can write onto. It's also from the internet and I really like, like the way this looks together. So. And also I have here a little card, a journaling card from my mom, just cardstock and this I got from the internet, it's just from an old book and you can find many ephemera on the internet. So um, here I have an no i had nothing in it but this is from my own design uh, monoprint and here also i have little booklets with well bookmark <laughs> a little short but she can use it as a bookmark if she wants to or leave it uh, this is also from the top note from genevieve designs and here i met it uh, only a triangle like that so and the old paper from the internet and here it's not really finished but I uh, found um, a see-through see thing I don't know what to call it I'm sorry but I did this with it so but I thought my mom could uh, totally put a picture behind it so I really like that and here I did the same with the ink uh, just around the edges and this is the middle of the book I did a uh, what did you call it a saddle stitch and I on pur purposely uh, put the pages like that, that it, went from small to slightly bigger and on the front from small to slightly bigger so it's like that and I really like that look especially in the middle when you see um, the middle and you see all the pages uh, yeah I really like that look so this is the back side I didn't open this up I left it as it is and here I found this in a magazine I met uh, this side and not this side and then I kept it a little bit like this and well she can do with it what she wants and here's a pocket side pocket and here again on the paper on the cardstock and I printed uh, directly on the cardstock uh, because you get two uh, two different when you buy the the top notes or any of her templates you get two one plain one with nothing on the background and I chose um, this uh, for the second and this uh, the music notes because I knew I know my mom my mom loves music notes and everything that has to do with music so <laughs> And because uh, I want to give this to my mom so she can put pictures in it. This is uh, from my other design, a vintage Geisha notebook. I uh, made a little uh, notebook. It's not finished all the way, so but it's the same as my big one. 
uh, the A5 size and this is just a little tiny little notebook you can totally remove it from the book and put it in a purse and it's the same design this is tea stained paper and this is from Genevieve designs I really like that one and here I can make a flip I left this on so I don't know what to do with it yet but a little flip I think this I found in a magazine and just as I said uh, I have three white pages so I have to do something with it but it's the same as the big one so and here um, is Geisha notebook my name Arabella but and then uh, over here is a door and it says number four because I grew up um, in my parents' house at number four and it looks a little bit like that. So, But ours was, wasn't that shabby and never dirty. So, and the back side it's a monoprint and here I did the same thing with the ink. Here I left it closed. I just I think the shape is already really cute so the old papers and I inked all around the edges also so this is tea, tea stained paper and then my design and here she can put some pictures if she wants it's the old paper from the internet from the internet internet and I really like it so the little pages on the end with parchment paper and uh, cardstock and here a little tuck spot and here is just a cut off and I really like that shape too so and here is the other side and I made with, with par parchment paper <laughs> in the middle as you can see and then um, uh, the, the I made this with just a cardstock I bought in the store. So I thought the, that color really complemented uh, the top note design from Genevieve. And here you can see the, the music notes really good. This is the end. Here's a belly band. This is from Artie Mays. And what the shape I really like the shape so I can show you the back side and I made this so it's really pretty I hope my mom is really happy with it but I think she is and this was my first video in the next video I will make a top note uh, book uh, and I already prepped some pages so you can um, uh, yeah I will teach you something about it if I can but I will give it a try and give it my best so good luck and thank you all for watching I hope you like my video my first video on YouTube and I will um, make many more videos I guess so goodbye and thank you for watching bye bye